I finally got auto HDR working for YouTube videos. And let me tell you, this means that I will never, ever again watch any SDR videos on my PC. This is absolutely amazing. But now if you ask me, how did you solve the issue? As I shared with you before, download this program. All you have to do is just run the program. You open it here. You specify the path, so where the executable of the game is. So this works for pretty much every single game. So you just have to copy the path here. Yes, yes, and you got auto HDR. So we're talking about you know games where, where the native HDR is absolutely terrible, like Horizon Zero Dawn, God of War, you know, Red Dead Redemption, even Zelda, okay, which I'm gonna show you here. So you can get auto HDR, amazing auto HDR, I should say, for every single game, okay? So now I share with you that this works for Google Chrome. So that means you can watch all the videos on YouTube on HDR. But now it was kind of working, but it was going in and out of PQ. So basically you see here when I, you know, when I exit full screen and both go back and forth, you see that it goes in and out of PQ. So now what was happening is that it was just going out. I was not able to watch any videos. So now what people told me, because I made a video asking, hey, I see that this has the potential to work, but for some reason it's just not working consistently. So what people told me was, okay, come here to the settings on Google Chrome, Let's scroll down to system. So you go here, okay, settings, you scroll down to system and then make sure that you have this use hardware acceleration when available. So you have to check that box and that box was checked, but it was not working. Okay, so what I did was uncheck, check back, restart the PC, go again, open it, close it, check, check back. It's a bug. Okay, it was a bug until it finally worked and it has been working today consistently, no issues whatsoever. So basically when I use full screen on the video, I get auto HDR and it looks absolutely amazing, okay? So give it a try, link in the description of the video. You just have to run that program, copy, the path of Google Chrome, and that's it. This is just fantastic. This is just perfect HDR. So now, you also need to be aware that for some games you have to change from the HDR, so make sure the auto HDR is on, of course. So you have to be aware that for some games you have to change this color profile from the HDR calibration app profile. So this is basically the profile that this a Windows 11 HDR calibration app creates. In some games, this profile looks bad, okay? So you get near black, it looks too bright. So for those games that look washed out with auto HDR, what you have to do is you have to download an ICC profile that I share with you. Link in the description of the video. So you have to use that profile, which looks like this. SDR, ACM, sRGB, D50, okay? So this is sRGB to Gamma 2.2 profile. So this profile is designed to use with, when HDR is on on Windows 11, for content that was originally SDR Gamma 2.2, okay? Which is most of the games, most of the games. So that's all, that's the only setting you need to change for some content, you have to use that. Gamma 2.2 one, for some content, just use the HDR calibration app profile, which is that, that piecewise sRGB. So now this is all amazing that I can get it working for the Yusu emulator, okay? So this is Tears of the Kingdom, and as you can see here, this is HDR, okay? And this works, um, you know, it just looks amazing. So now if you ask me right now, you see it's gonna go in and out of PQ. You see right now it is not HDR, You'll see once I move it, let me see, it is not working right now. Let me go in and out of full screen, to see if it works. Now it is working, you see, it is brighter. Now it's working. 
yeah, this is working. It looks great. It's not like, okay, overly bright everywhere. This is looks like auto HDR. Like if auto HDR was working here, it was very, very, very good. And, but yeah, the performance still not. <laughs> it's the performance still not great. So I'm not playing the game at 50 frames per second, dropping down to 40. But yeah, HDR works. It looks very good. If you are okay with the performance, uh, if you can get a good enough performance, you can give it a try and even play Tears of the Kingdom with good HDR. I I'm also using Reshade here, but no, no effects are being used. So this is not major pain the cactus or anything like that. This is just the auto HDR from Windows 11. See, sometimes, well, I think this crashed or something. Let me see. Yeah, I think this crashed. <laughs> you cannot just go in and out of this thing. But you get the idea. It works. Okay? So give it a try. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. Go back to those games where you were not able to fix the native HDR. Again, God of War. Perfect example. I mean, the native HDR is so messed up, it, it is not worth it. Use this instead. It looks absolutely amazing on God of War. I tried also Horizon Zero Dawn. Red Dead Redemption, I know, supports the auto HDR for the DirectX 12. But for Vulcan, it doesn't support the auto HDR. So what you have to do for this to work on Vulcan games, I shared that before, but let me share that with you again. You have to come here. To the nvidia control panel if you have an nvidia gpu and then you come to manage 3d settings and scroll down to the end where it says vulcan and a slash opengl present present method and you have to change that from the default auto you have to change that to prefer layered on dxgi swap chain Okay, you have to change that. So then Red Dead Redemption 2 with Vulcan is going to have that auto HDR working. And why would you want to do that? Because Vulcan might perform better on your PC. So there you go. This would work for Vulcan games where auto HDR usually doesn't work for Vulcan games. Uh, I believe it doesn't. So there you go, man. Awesome auto HDR for every single game. Uh, so then go you know go back and watch the videos I made about auto HDR with this ICC profile to learn how to change the brightness uh, This profile is default to 800 nits. So if you have a different display and you need a different uh, Brightness then you have to download this ICC profile that comes with the option for you to change the brightness with the CRU app so go back and watch that video where I explain how to do that depending on your display. But if you have one of these LG OLEDs, which is 800 nits, all you have to do is download that ICC profile. That's for, again, originally Gamma 2.2 SDR content. Okay? So yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions. And if you have any questions, I think this is the last piece of the puzzle. I mean, we can get awesome HDR all the time, everywhere, for videos on the internet, for the entire web, web browsing experience. I mean, this is like right now, HDR and Google Chrome. Like it doesn't matter which, any website you open is gonna be HDR, it's gonna be, of course, I'm not gonna be reading an article on HDR with this, with the letters popping, <laughs> okay? But maybe you're watching a website that's full of pictures, all those pictures are gonna be HDR and popping ferociously. So it looks awesome. <laughs> so this is like the last piece of the puzzle. And now everything is HDR, all the games, all the time. And why? Because it looks better. <laughs> okay, it, on my TV. Okay, maybe you have a different display where HDR doesn't look better than SDR. But on my LG C1, HDR looks significantly better than SDR. And it is not close. And that should be the case for most good HDR displays, okay? So yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions and if you have any questions.